Hi, Russell. What's up? I'm just fin I'm just finishing up. Uh, nothing really. I guess we can just get started. Pew pew. Ignis Caller is the first challenge run we're doing. Uh, and I guess I'm just trying to prove that every single one of these challenge runs is easy as shit. Maybe not easy as shit, but doable. I think blindfolded is going to be the hardest one. But then again, like, a lot of the run... Like, a lot of Lunacid speedrunning in general... Consist of, like, backstrafing and shit, just editing... Editing a few decks? I wish. I wish I played Magic. Play Magic Leader. If we finish up all these runs, I'll play Magic tonight. Uh, pop slot. Ignis Caller first, because that was the first, uh, the first one suggested. There it is, the moon baby. And I would like to get these done before... Nothing. There's no update coming out soon, don't worry. Whatever you thought I was about to say, I was not about to say. Long strong. We ignis bitch. Oh, you know what I should do? I should probably put this on the Lunacid Reddit. I'm basically like a king there, a queen. Took a fat edible earlier. <laughs> the last time I took edibles, it was like the, these huge, there's like nerd ropes edibles. And those things are vile. They're so misleading. <coughs> because you'd think like not much of 
you'd think like not much of a nerd's rope edible. I, I, you know what the problem is, and this is really interesting, is I don't like, I don't like nerd's ropes. So I saw, I saw these nerd rope edibles, I, we, we got them, and I was like, whatever, I don't like nerd's ropes, I'll eat these and just get them done with. We're treating this. We're treating this like a speed run. So, like always. Uh... I should probably turn that. Why is it so loud? Holy sh shit! I guess first things first is let me turn that game volume down. It's a little bit. All right. Not moving backwards feels weird, but usually even this is what I'm saying. Like here, let me. If I just close my eyes, can I do this? We're already doing it back. At this point, we would turn around. We'd be moving left. I hit a wall. I could tell I hit a wall. I can hear it like when we hit walls. So now we're in the chamber. I should hear it when we pick up the sword, right? Picked up the sword. No footsteps means they're walking in. We can use the arrow keys. I know we can use the mouse. And it's like tab. Always at the center of your screen, which is interesting. So it's always like the same mouse movement. But I think it's tab. It'll be like tab once. That we should be in our items. So tab once, enter, down. I fucked up. Tab once, enter, down, over, over, enter, down, enter, equipped. No, the problem is everything makes the same noise when we hit it. Hi, Gummy. I'm actually playing with my eyes closed right now. I don't know where I am. You're wild for this? Those are flowers. I think I just I could just walk forward till I hit the wood till I hear it break, right? That's not wood. Wood. This is the scary part. So I guess I look down and just swing until I don't hear. All right, run's done. I bl this is gonna be the hardest part of blindfolded, I think. No save, by the way, so that's that's it. Runs over. Let's try that again. Let's see how well this works. Let's see how well we can do blindfolded. So, I'm already... Why am I not moving? Oh! Because we died. Because we died, I should be facing forward. That's why I'm hearing a stop. Why am I not moving? I'm walking into something. Oh. There we go. <clears throat> you 
if you have the patience. I speed run this game, so I definitely have the patience. We're gonna hear the wind. Yep. We're gonna walk straight until we hear the item. Should be like right to our left. This is gonna be the hardest part. It's the state of the. Oh my god, the entire basin area. I don't know where I am. At this point, I have no idea where I am. Hi. Hey, what's up? We're live. What are you up to? Oh. Uh huh. The, uh, just, oh, menu. Uh, the whole menu? Oh, hell yeah. I'm no longer blind. Ooh. Yeah, so do I. I guess it is a story of this. I kind, of, like, I, I kind of knew the hardest parts would be of blindfolded, just because of how we are. So many of these corners are like zigzaggy. That's probably going to be the hardest part. But like for a blindfolded run, I, I guess we also would need flame spear. It depends. Oh my god, leveling up is going to be a nightmare. This actually might be like leagues more difficult than I thought. <clears throat> Ignis Calors, this is gonna be easy. This just I I I I don't even like the idea of calling this a challenge run. There's not really like not to be dismissive, but there's not really much challenge to it. So how would we navigate like a menu? Ka, we Ignis bitch. Shit's so funny. You can navigate any menu with the keyboard. So here, I guess it would be instead of going up and down, I would go one over. No. I'd go one over, top, enter. If enter even buy, if enter doesn't buy, I go top, then over again, purchase, and then we just tab out to exit. And then we would walk backwards. It's gonna have to be routed completely differently. Like I'm not gonna be able to do stuff like grab the ritual dagger. <laughs> Oh shit, I spent the ring's rest twice. I think what also comes in handy is the fact that you can interact with things and open doors while not facing them. That's probably going to be one of the biggest safeties of this. Everything else is going to be a nightmare. Like having to do this area twice. I'm wondering if it's even worth... Oh my god, blindfolded should no be percent would be so unfun. All the menuing is just going to be annoying. 
I think what's also interesting is during the final boss, the knowing it. Oh my god, it's gonna be so hard. So you would hit enter, one over, down, enchanted key, enter, two, and that's it. Pretty much it. Just walk forward. Hearing the music change here, I guess, would be the cue. It's, it comes down to, like, finding... I guess maybe picking up the torch. Because the hit... The, like, range to pick up the torch is, is fairly wide. So we would go empty, torch. <clears throat> this is just where backdashing becomes... Most of what's going on. I think they're in alphabetical order. No? What? Everything, I guess. This area is gonna be a nightmare, blindfolded. It's because so much of it, I don't know, so much, so much of it doesn't feel like it's about muscle memory. Inventory items were they not in alphabetical order before? Like two hundred hours in this game and shit like that. I don't even seem to know. Here, I guess the cue is going to be we'll pick up the item. No to jump. I guess we have to jump again if we don't hear steps. This oh, this is going to be a nightmare of the temple. Is there switches and shit too? I didn't even went there. Yeah, I'll go. I did go the wrong way. We don't go straight. We go. We go right. Then we pick up the item and then hold right. Turn to the camera. Hold right. Or hold left, turn to the camera, hold right. Hold right and forward. No, keep holding right. This is going to be too much. I actually think blind blindfolded is definitely going to be... The worst. I'm wondering if one of the easier speedrun routes is the, the better choice. This is not the right way. I know that that's not the right way. I still go that way. To say that, that is the right way. That is the right way, and I know that's the right way, and I always think it's the wrong way, and I never go that way. This is why my run times are so weird. It's not because I'm cheating or because I'm, like, weed brain. It's because I just never know where the fuck I actually am. Like, I'm lost right now. Yo, if this game had maps, it'd be so much better. Why is this game considered good, guys? Alright, this time we'll do it right. Oh my god, why do I keep doing this? This is how you know it's a classic turtle box lunacid run. When I don't know where the fuck I am. This is going to be a nightmare. Doing this blindfolded? Because it's not like you just, it's not like we just hold left and then hold right the whole time. This was one of the best, uh, Temple exits I've ever had, though. I feel like we're going to have a perfect mire here, right? Someone play Sonic X. We're fast as fuck right now. My 
keyboard's all like tilted from so that's playing so much Counter Strike lately. <clears throat> I wish there was like a more consistent way to spam backdashes other than just getting the tempo rate. Who needs mass when you're fast as fuck? I took the wrong way. No, not wrong way. Smart way. Secret way. Together, monkey strong. Together, monkey smart. My brain cells when. This was a really good mire. I think the best time I've ever had on Meyer doing this uh, route. Hello, health potion. Blindfolded through the sea might be. Uh, not fun. That might actually also be a fucking nightmare. Because you don't spawn, like, you don't leave the mire facing the castle. So it might have to, like, jump until we hear the blood splash. So we hear the blood. It's like this way. But we wouldn't go fast as fuck, so we don't face this way. We face this way. But it's not that way. It's like a little more this way. <clears throat> I'm not looking at the monitor. But we should be close. Because there's no, like, audio cue when you're close to the castle, right? There's one when you're close to Jotun. That's what we hear over here. I can't see, but I know Jotun's right there. And if Jotun's there, then the castle's, like, over here. <clears throat> It's gonna be impossible. Not impossible, but like not easy. So Jotun's here, we turn. No, we want him to like be here, right? I got turned around at one point, didn't I? Jotun. Jotun's gonna have to be our sound guide. Like he's getting far away, so I know we're farther away than we should be. I, I, I never know when we're going to hit the door or anything. Because I still hear Jotun over here, which makes me think, like... We're not moving. Do we line a quick 180 towards the castle? We'll figure something out. 
Like we're in castle now. Yeah. I also I never equipped flame spear, huh? Oh, I can't equip flame spear. There's no reason to equip fl equip flame spear. This whole segment's gonna be horrible too. I guess not really, because like a lot of the vampires are gonna be the giveaway. It's just dying is not gonna be fun here. Oh, do I, I need to open the whole mirage, don't I? Right? Or is the door right here? I think the door is right here. No, I need to open the whole mir mirage, don't I? All right, well, that can be easily arranged, chat. Knowing that we never have to go into the dungeon is a little interesting, but I don't know if interesting here equates to, like, beneficial for Ignis or for Blindfolder or not. Blind photo runs we don't need. I, I I keep confusing what we're doing. For this, not ever having to go into the dungeon, probably not that bad. Like we'll probably be fine. My mouse bunch he got all like wired, like tangled, wired out. Whoa! What the fudge? I moved my mouse too quick. <laughs> I'm moving. Uh, excuse me. Welcome, lost one. here fat oh my god I'll I'll for sure figure something out for the whole nightmare that is this entire area it's the wrong way I've never seen so many enemies just running at you in this game. <clears throat> it's honestly great. Like, I, I always seemingly forget how many enemies just just violently run at you in this game. <laughs> in, like, the cutest possible way. Too slow. Oh my god, there's so many enemies, it's like lagging on my game.
They all just, they really will follow you, huh? Pew! Pew pew pew! You're too slow. Oh, I have to have a weapon equipped to break the Mirage for the dungeon. 35 minutes in, still no Ignis Calor. Calor. Calor? Calor means hot in Spanish, right? What? What does that mean? Huh? What is. Caliente. Isn't Fuego that shit that the Juggalos drink? Chat, she doesn't speak Spanish. She does this every time. I took Spanish for a really long time. Yeah, alright, Peggy Hill. <laughs> I'm not saying that I speak Spanish, I'm saying, like, you know, some basic I know some basic words, and then the dilemma of, like, what? Does that actually mean that? Wait a second, I think I'm wrong. Well, yeah, I'm by no means fluent in Spanish. But they're actually fresh. I, I, mean, I only know what I know based on memory, not because I actually understand. Oh. Uh, Bro, I was dying today. Iris and uh, Je Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Calicela, Cali 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 or whatever her, like. Oh, Esteban Leo Ricardo name is. Uh, they were talking, like, in super fast-paced Spanish, and I was, like, so fucking tired and just spaced out that it was, like, it was, like, it was, like, I was dreaming this, like, crazy, like, like, I was, like, I don't know, none of this is real. Whatever they're saying is just, like, not real. I could probably touch a safety save, but... <clears throat> we'll be fine. Like, we don't die to anything. Like, nothing kills us. That's a weird loading screen issue I've never seen before. I... I am having... An issue. I don't remember where Ignis is right now. It's in the sand temple. Oh my god, it's in the sand temple. How do we get... We don't have to kill the obsidian guards. We don't have to do that. That does not have to be what we do. What do we do then? Wait. It's in the sand temple. I just don't remember where. The sand temple without wind dashing is gonna be so fun, I guess. Safety crystal. <clears throat> I don't wanna try to touch the guardians until we have everything. We're dead. We're fine. Luna said, jumping physics. All right, so we'll safety save here. We really do need all of the switches flipped. Wow, that's gonna be actually annoying as shit. Is Ignis strong enough to kill Prince? Probably at like, probably at like 100 intelligence if we just spam it.
It's not about what's strong enough to kill Prince, because everything is strong enough to kill Prince. Like, really old speedruns just used to throw bombs. Is this Hearthstone? Yeah. Are these graves new? How have I never seen those graves before? They're the great, uh, as soon as I saw the lithomancy thing, I remembered, like, oh, that's just, they're always there. I think a shop here is going to be good, too. We can make this if we hit the timing right. There we go. You move so much further if you hit the jump on a backdash than if you just jump normally. They're coming for you. <clears throat> All right. This is where we start to meta game, I guess. <sighs> what do we do? We have to hit all three switches. There's really not going to be a shortcut that helps. Uh, I'm lagging really bad, chat. Wait, where am I? Wait, am I stupid? Is the first night not over here? Bye, excuse me, bye. Where's the dog, hon, with Tig? Whoa, two nights in a row? Lucky. I'm so good at movement. Ignis is, it's, I, I guess it's not about, like, is it strong enough? The way I see it is it's more about, like, is the, is, is, are the resources there to do it, I guess is what I wonder. And I, I just, I know, like, I know for a fact there are enough resources. The game's still so loud. There are 100% enough resources to do this run, which is why I said in the Discord, like, yeah, let's do it. I just don't remember where the actual spell is in the dungeon, which is, like, the funny part, I guess. You guys get to see all the cool Lunacid movement I, I, I practiced. AKA 8,000 hours of Counter Strike. And heard it, it just looks like her. So. Did you see that uh, Magic at Magic, uh, the Gathering changed their logo to the Alchemy logo rule? Childhood equal ruin. Did you see that Aftermath is getting rid of Planeswalkers because Planeswalkers aren't fun in Commander and Wizards of the Coast wants to make everything Commander? The Arena logo. Did you see that? I laughed so fucking hard reading that thread. I had to explain to that person that, like, the Arena logo is the... Like, the, the logo for Alchemy is the Arena logo, which has been the same thing, uh since beta since like since the first public invite or the first private invite that has been the logo granted originally it wasn't a different font but like even the vip client is the same
Even the VIP, even the VIP client isn't the same. Oh, he follows us far, huh? Uh, the VIP clients are the same, like design, it's just a different color. It's like white. Two maybe six. I saw this weird like thing. I don't know. I don't know. like. I'm not going to repeat the rhetoric because I don't know if it comes from a pop problematic place. But it had to do with a lot of something, like a lot of something that I see all the time on EDH Twitter, and it's basically this idea that it's like not about playing the game as much as just like trying to be the most look at me person at the table. Which then translates to trying to be the most look at me person on Twitter. Which is why we have a lot of the like Twitter influencers that we have. Or I guess they. I'm so fucking glad all oh, so many of those idiots block up. They're all miserable anyways. So they don't enjoy magic. All they care about is like money and being popular on Twitter. Let me in. Where's the last door? Is there only two? What am I thinking of? The torches? I guess so. I really should safety save. That's a save crystal flag, right? Interesting. I wonder what that means. I wonder if that implies there's lore behind whoever set up the save crystals. Which are totally checkpoints, so if you go and you say that this game needs checkpoints and then ask for a refund because there's not an autosave checkpoint. Blah blah blah. In your, uh, the jam. You should play arena with us, or play Counter Strike with me, but like off stream. Just play Counter Strike, bro. Somebody's mind was fucking blown. Somebody who follows me. They went through that thing where a lot of people who follow me go through, where they're like, oh, their Steam page is, like, public, let's see what they play on Steam, and they see, like, thousands and thousands of hours <laughs> in any game except Magic the Gathering, and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> when Arena comes to Steam, I'm not switching over unless they let me, like... Alright, so where is Ignis? Is it just through this dungeon? Like, do I just do this dungeon naturally? Ultra small streamer, Ixalan early access. <clears throat> I heard that somebody was able to get most of MTG Rebellion into early access, so maybe you should find out who that person was and see if they can help you. Money, money, money. It wasn't me, so don't ask me. It wasn't me who has friends at Wizards of the Coast and had them forward, uh, or had applications forwarded. Where is this spell? Watch this. Woo, you're too slow. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh my god, I backstepped into the second one. I saw the whole thing. What out. You didn't see shit. I was advised by my content manager that I haven't uploaded anything to TikTok in a month and a half, so... Or, I'm sorry, I haven't... I haven't... I think the exact quote was, you haven't uploaded original content to TikTok in over a month and a half, and I was like, nobody's ever uploaded original content to TikTok, and they were like, no, this is serious, and I was like, oh, uh, Sorry, fab. I had trouble. I had trouble, chat. Not enough original content. Apparently clips don't count for, like, <clears throat> original content. So I can spend, you know, I can have I can have nights off, like, tonight and tomorrow. Stream for, like, long-ass times for you guys. Clip it and edit it and make it fun, and that's not good enough. That's right, content manager. I'm sassing. Where is this spell? I'm Googling it. Thank you. 
the wiki just says it's found in the sand tumble. I have to have a word with the fat idiot who edits the wiki. I didn't do the wiki page for that. Never mind. Watch this. You're too slow. You're too slow. You're too slow. I saw somebody unironically suggest that Luna Sid needs PvP. Or, like, some, like, oh my god, it was some, like, really weird co op. And it wasn't ironic. I thought it was, like, I thought they were irony posting, like, oh, Luna Sid needs two player co op, and this is how it should be done. I thought it was a joke. Oh my god, these traps are actually scary now because. We can't just iframe through everything, huh? Oh my god, this is actually scary. Sans Fortress is actually like a problem now, huh? Dude, fuck! Why is this so hard? Where is this spell? I, cause you can't actually wait. Oh, never mind. I cheated. L bozos. Yeah. Fuck, I actually just don't remember where the spell is. So we can slope boost there, but it's just really going to do anything. I think the two problems is I just don't remember where the spell is and this area is annoying. No, it's definitely not this way. It might have unironically been worth it to grab the axe of harming. Oh shit, we're stuck. There's actually like no way out of here. Oh, because poison. Interesting. Okay, well, here's the thing. Fuck. Can we build a snake tower?
Oh, I can't. I can't even. I'm not even allowed to hit these guys because that's not in this caliber. How am I supposed to get out of this? There's no, it's just no actual way. Are you trolling? Wait for the sand to pile up? Stop! These snakes are poisonous, chat. Poison snakes. These snakes are poison. God, we can't, like... Oh my god, you're actually kind of right, I think. There's no wall where we can get stuck. Fuck, if we could get stuck on a ledge or a slope, we could just slope boost out. But there's no, like, real slopes, huh? If there was gonna be a slope, it would be, like, on an edge, like here. Gummy, where is the actual spell? Is it even going the right way? It doesn't work. These corners are like baby proof. Like Kira knew we would try to slow boost out of here. Like we, like you, I can hear the dash. Like I can hear the. Uh, I I also don't remember, so I don't remember it is. I guess we just die. Okay. You're trolling. The sand does not fill up that room. I've never seen that mechanic in my life. What do you mean, like a corner where you can just like get stuck and then jump up? Yeah, that's like slope boosting. So that's an entire mechanic where you like find a slope, get stuck in it, and you, you, you'll hear the wind. That signifies you're falling and it'll stop. And then, pew! You can, a lot of ways, just use the frick. Well, it got nerfed super hard, but. Friction boosting. Slope boosting is Titanfall. And like a bunch of other games. Left 4 Dead has slope boosting. No, Left 4 Dead used to have something close to slope boosting. But it's more like run boosting because Source Engine. <clears throat> I'm excited for a Left 4 Dead Source 2 game. If any game is going to have really good, like, volumetric. Vol volumetric. Uh, shit, it's gonna be Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead always did really good with, like, particle effects. I would like one spell, please. Oh, no. I've done it. About three games of Source 2. Valve's three games in Source 2. Dota's already in Source 2, and it's like, okay. 
I'm more excited for. Oh, I'm not super excited for Counter Strike 2. I'm ex I'm very excited for Counter Strike 2, but. <coughs> Sorry, I had to mute and I fell. Left for Dead 3, Portal 3. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Just over there. Fuck. Fuck me, I guess. Why doesn't the... Why doesn't... Fuck me, I guess. The beta's okay. It's really weird. Like... There's no incentive to play the beta at this point anymore. It just most of the time I can't find why the gate volume is being like inconsistently loud. Yeah. They gave a bunch of like former FPL people like face it mods uh, access, and then no incentive to actually play it. I was hoping, like, I was hoping FPL would switch over to Source Two at one point, like that they would allow pro players to start playing it like in scrims and in FPL, but it's not, it's not happening. I think that's a mistake. I think that's the kind of thing that should be like, CS2 should be getting advertised right now by pro players. No, 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 no. God, fuck me. I'm not a fan of how cringe a lot of people are being about it. Uh, there's really this area sucks. If you if you manage to get here early, and you, like because you can't wind dash charge across complete. This like wind dash, you you can't. I feel like this area, this whole section was designed around wind dash, and then Kira just took wind dash away. I don't even know if I should use a shard there. I feel like it's better to just not. This is like so annoying. Uh, like having show matches and stuff. I'm excited for Paris. That's that's probably the like you know one thing for me right now. I guess Paris is probably going to be insane. I'm not going to save. Rest case scenario is if we die, we just get our crystal back. Are you watching Rio? <clears throat> uh, I, I'll watch highlights. I play more than I watch these days. It used to be the opposite. I used to watch more than I play. Obscure Retro? Oh, not even. This game's... Apparently this game just came out. I will not fall for this trap again. Fuck you, carpet.
Where is this spell? Why does nobody remember where this spell is? I asked in the Discord, but they're arguing about Linux. Which is the most lunacid community thing I've ever seen in my life. You can miss the spells. The spell has to be like on the bottom floor. Like through the fortress part. Fuck no! I tried to slope boost over. We still might be able to get it. If I can get one jump in, we're good. We're good. Oh my god, I'm so good at the movement in this game. I should speed around this game and get world record twice, chat. Where is the spell? Let me check the Discord. I literally don't know who. Oh my god, I hate this bitch. I hate opening up like other Discords and seeing people like can't fucking stand. Why did it open to that Discord? Anyways? I would ask in the Wiki Discord, but they're. Yeah, like, uh, motherfuckers never talk about Lita sitting in that game. Also, hi, Maddie. <laughs> ah! Stop! Don't! Hey, he has a cursed blade, too, just like me. How have I been? I've been okay. I'm just tired today. I'm trying to actually, like, enjoy a game for once. Wait a second. No! If I have to kill the mimic to get the spell, I'm fucked. We can't. We literally can't do the run. And I talked all this shit. No. Watch this movement. Ready? Boing. <laughs> Every watch this movement clip is literally just me walking around enemies. Watch this, watch this. Boing. <laughs> oh, wait. I can... I can win here. What's the challenge? Pacifist? No, it's getting a certain... There's a spell that does, like, no damage. And I'm trying to get that spell and beat the game with it. No! Mimik! He was my friend, chat. I hope he doesn't drop the spell. Alright, I'm gonna punch my fucking teeth out. This whole area is so annoying. At least we know we can kill Mimics with... The puzzles. No! I'm not allowed to use anything but the spell that we don't have yet. It's in the the spell is in the last dungeon, I guess second to last, the newest dungeon in the game. It's in a side area of the newest area in the game. This is an early access game, and this is the obligatory lava level that got added a while ago. And there's a secret dungeon in here, and there's this entire side area that opens up after you do a puzzle. And there's a spell in here that does no damage. Um, and I'm gonna beat the game with it. Because oddly enough, you basically get every item you need to open the final boss room, you just get in this, in, like, on the way here anyways. <clears throat> so my philosophy... We haven't leveled up once. My philosophy is we can just do, the, like, the entire game. Get the spell, and then just do, like, what I would normally do in, like, an old route speedrun, which is just farm. My stat, my intelligence, way too high. I can backstep over this, right? Nope. Oh, yes. Whoa, that's scary. We did it, chat. 
Is there no final boss that requires damage? Oh no, the final boss definitely requires damage. That's the challenge. I have a theory that you can look. No, no! I wish I just died there, because. Fuck me. Wait. New tech? New strat? Stop. Where? The final boss is like a ton of health. This is another jump we can't make without Wind Dash. I'm gonna post this in the Discord. Oh! I'm so good! Oh my god! I'm actually goaded. Holy shit. If I take a if I did not take a screenshot of that, no one would have believed it. I guess we literally have to spam through this thing. This, this is the end of this dungeon, right? No, why? Who are you? Get out of here! Beep, 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 beep. My... We died in one hit. <sighs> Love you, him. I wish there was a clip to push the boss off of. We're an hour and 12 minutes in, I don't even have the spell yet. Honestly, I should just load up a save where we have the spell. Which I don't have. I, I know the spell is so far out of like the normal intended gameplay path for early access uh, that I, I literally don't have it on, on my the character that I've put, uh, been putting time into. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. It's at the end of this dungeon. I'm just like bad at this dungeon. I never do this area. I don't think because most of the time when I'm playing this game, it's it, I'm just I'm doing speed run. I'm doing speed runs or I'm doing speed runs of start to finish. Or I'm doing speed runs of the of like leaderboard. For the uh, Tower of Abyss. Why is he here? Why did he move? When this uh, when this update first dropped, I used to tell people, "What am I looking for here? The the only spell we're allowed to use during this run, which should be here." No, no, no. Oh my god, I'm lagging. Why am I lagging? That is not the spell. That is the no-no door. Dude, I'm gonna fucking punch my teeth out. I don't know why this is so hard. I 
I might even just put a crystal on just to like spam out. No, because I don't want to act. I don't want to misclick. It's just such a useless spell that, like, off the top of my head, I don't know where it is, other than at the end of this dungeon. Which, this dungeon was designed around a spell that got nerfed. So it's just, like, really fucking annoying to get through. I'm begging for one of those little piss babies who cries about there not being maps to use this VOD as evidence that there needs to be maps. Right, sorry. Like, I can't keep muting and unmuting either. Yeah, at least not in this area. Okay, we're just running straight. I could backtrack and just get him to fall, but I'm, just, I'm so agitated at this point. It's not even like it's like, I don't want to say it's like bad game design, but it's definitely not. This game's a masterpiece. It's just an oversight to design a dungeon around a spell that uh, maybe at the time of conception, this dungeon or like the nerf was just not being considered. What the fuck? Wait, this just leads to the other side? Wait, what? Wait, so I never I never get to go through the, the puzzles, right? I can just go through. Wait, now I'm fucking confused. Because this is not the spell. <sighs> no spell here. That other part doesn't lead anywhere. The part we just came from? It leads to the dead room. Where you get the golden claws. Oh, but you know what? We can't actually get through this area, like, organically. Like, we would need to hit the switch anyways, so it's not a big deal. Wait, I don't know what to do then. Oh, you know what? Thank God that people have made community maps for this game. It's not even on the map. Wait, 
Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> it's saying it's in an area that we already looked. If you're at full HP, you can tank the fall. I don't have enough HP to tank the fall. We haven't leveled up. We can't tank the fall with like 155 HP. We can't even tank a hit of damage. We just died everything. It's saying, which is wondering. No, it's all good. Chat, I'll be right back. Sorry, I'm looking I'm looking over at the map and I it's just not something just isn't right. So entrance Is it all, is it? This map is saying that the spell is in an area. Looking for Ignis or what spell? Yeah, it's saying it's up there, but we were already up there. So I figured maybe we had to go back around and flip a switch, which just isn't the case. Like, it's implying that the door is over there. Like, it's that door. We were already in that door. Maybe it is this area. It's weird that we can't, like, we can't slope up that side, we can slope up the other side. Alright. 
We have to wait to be sloped. I can't hear the like sound cue. Fuck, dude, I can't barely hear the sound cue. So from here, we should start getting the slope. There we go. Let's just do it the normal way, because I'm getting frustrated. I, I just don't know how we're supposed to do this, unless we just crystal back? Open the gate, crystal back, and then what? It just, I guess it's the, fa the fact that the dungeon was designed when Windash was not fucking... I guess I'll put the crystal on now. We'll pop the second crystal, go back to Wings Rest, safety save. At least have the gate open, so this guy will be de aggroed. And that's all I can really say in terms of like what what's probably gonna work. 
I timed that so well, holy shit. Because it's saying, like... It's saying the area we're supposed to go is, like... Not this area. Like, it's just wrong. Like, the, the map... On the community page is just not right. But I'm not... I can't fix them right now. I fixed the one for the chasm once because it had all the items like reverse for some reason. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here because I can't make that fall. And that's literally a room that could be. So without Wind Dash, I don't know what we're supposed to, like, what the intended play for this this dungeon is. It kind of just seems like an actual oversight, right? Like, not even an oversight in the way like. There's just nothing, like, there's just not an actual way to... There's just not an actual way to progress up. Without Wind Dash that I know of. Alright, we're just gonna make this tool. look at the map again. So entrance there's there's just really no right path on this map. Charge complete. So I think I found the issue. Is we have to make that big drop that we don't have enough HP to make. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. Hug the corner of the hole leading into the dungeon. You can we we can uh we can friction wall it like we can we can friction boost it yeah but if that's the only way to do it because now it doesn't even matter like we we what we literally opened that door so in an hour and a half of progress we opened a door. And I guess the game just really wants us to have the HP to survive this fall at this point. We'll get it. Here we go. We just don't have enough HP. We actually can't get Ignis without making that jump. 
Unless we do... I have an idea, but it's not, like, good. We can spam health vials as we fall. <clears throat> like, spamming a health vial is not a bad idea. I just, want to see I just want to see if there's, like, any other way we can do this real quick. This is what I said the hardest. The hardest part would be getting... the actual dungeons. Oh, Demi gives us a blood uh, blood wine. So maybe we can use that instead of like finding silver for a potion. It really just seems like without Wind Dash, this dungeon is fucking atrocious. Which is a shame, because, I don't know, not really. This dungeon's kind of pointless. This dungeon's, like, great if you just want uh, the musket, but the musket's really bad, so just don't get the musket. Problem solved. Just use any other better weapon. Alright, so we're gonna try something here. Yeah, there's just no way to do this without... I don't think we get EXP for enemies dying by the, their own initiative. If we did, then we could have dumped those points into HP and just... just Try to survive the fall. 
Every also uh, funny, funny, funny ad addition to all this. Every relevant health items we could just go get right now. Uh, I think requires a sequence break of some sort. As in, like we would have to take fall damage anyways. Except I think one in the castle. Ooh. Oh, we almost just made that jump. Alright, let's try this. And if this doesn't work, we'll... No, we can't even farm gold. Well, I just need to break pots. Oh. oh, that's gonna make a difference. Breaking pots for gold? This is gonna take so long. Here we go, ready? No, there's like a... We just can't do it. This is so awkward, because I don't know what to do then. We have to just pick up every healing item we can then. We can't snail boost either. Usually I would say we'll just snail boost. No snail boost tonight. And I specifically want the health potions because they're they're easier to like put onto one item slot and just spam. Wait, didn't I kill a snail earlier? The run's not even valid. What class is that? I guess that's well, we have to figure out what class has the highest starting HP. And then go from there. Like, if, if we were to redo this... Like... I'm just doing this to test, chat. Like, I'm doing this to test what the highest... Or, like, what the bare minimum EXP we need is. Or the, sorry, what the bare minimum, uh... Oh my god, we can't even spam Flame Spear. <laughs> Finding out the bare minimum HP is, is the start. Like 255 or 155? 155 is too low. Summon Snail. Oh my god, I have an idea. We can, I guess we can Snail Boost now. Still cheating. This is all... Just to see where the fuck up was, I guess.
So, uh, I guess a mod confirmed you have to take that fall damage. There's no, like, cheesing it. On level 1 Forsaken runs without elixirs. Am I just missing something? I think this might not be possible without some sort of exploit that I may I may or may not be being educated on right now. This is interesting. I thought it would be super straightforward. I had no clue this fall was like a like not I guess mandatory death, but. You're completely expected to just have enough HP to survive this fall. Which is only possible by leveling up. Which we know you can do anyways. Like, you can just level up by... Making the Mimic and stuff, like, fall to their death. So if you make the Mimic fall to its death for EXP, you can get a level... Apparently there's a way to just not take damage while you fall from that that specific hole in the dungeon. Doesn't Clive, Clive gives you health potions? My face one. Silver cat ring. All right, thanks, rule. Direct answer. So the minimum HP required for that fall with normal like gameplay conditions I guess is is to our knowledge 155 or above what why did I just get poisoned oh the dagger poisoned the pot or I guess 156 is the minimum and 155 could be You guys know you can charge spells while backdashing. Mm. All of these have to go into offense, I guess. Maybe even resist. I don't know. It's just it's just not not knowing. So. And we can't. I guess another problem is we can't. Say, like, we can't 
level up and then go test the fox when you level up it auto saves. It's the only time the game auto saves when you level up. So we really just have to get as much value as we can out of these few levels we're gonna get. We have like two levels. That's the Skullcrow I usually just backstep over. Well, not when we're spamming like this. I think I'm the only person who backsteps like this. Everyone else just spams, but I do the I do this the turbo speed and the turbo charge. It's like equally as fat. Like you you're just like, I don't know. You're not really sacrificing distance for speed or speed for distance. Or vice versa, you just it just looks cooler. This is the moment of truth. Again, there's no point in not saving. The game auto saves anyways when you level up, so. So if Risk says that Risk says that they managed to alt-tab out while attempting this fall, and it friction it frictioned them against the wall. But to my understanding, the wall's not... There's, like, no curve on the wall where you can hit friction. What enemy yells at us when we go over here? It's gotta be someone down there, right? Oh my god, I goofed. There we go. And I guess worst case scenario, we really, really, really can't just go pick up an elixir. Or even coffin stack. Coffin stack is apparently how they traditionally do it. Geronimo. Nope. Just can't do it. But you need a certain speed to hit the corners. Uh, some corners, yeah. We have seven speed, anyways, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I 
When you hear that that, like that windfall, here. That's what you're looking for, and then then you move up. That's how you do it. Like you can do it in weird places too. Fuck, I know you can do it in the mouth. Fuck, I don't know how. Somebody once clipped into the temple without, uh, like, doing the puzzle. They instantly died, but it worked. Oh, you know what? I might have an idea. If we can't get friction... No, we just can't do it. It's just actually not... Possible. There's no like I'm rewatching it. There's no, there's no friction on those corners. That's the problem. We would have to get coffins. We would have to stack coffins. Here, let me show you what we'd have to do. I'm not even trolling. Like. 100% this is how we would have to do it. I don't know if this character has the final boss killed either, so this might be interesting. Okay, so here's how we would have to do it. Oh my god, holy movement speed. Too much movement speed, chat. See, like, we don't have Ignis on this character, right? And I also don't think we have the boss, final boss kill on this character. We have to go over. Oh, we don't even have this dungeon done on this character. All right, well, let's do this real quick. Pew pew pew. Oh shit! Speedrunners, right? We run so fast that enemy doesn't even aggro until it's too late for him to like. Why is my speed so high? So he's dead. Okay. So here's what we'd have to do. We also don't have coffins on this character. You would have to drop coffins, like... Pew, 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 pew. And then... Oh, wait! No way did I just find this out. On the... On a completely other character. Completely different character. Hold on just a second. No... There's no way I'm just like okay, there's no way we're, it's this corner.
snake. Honestly, I also completely forgot about this whole area. So, like, Ignis only is possible, but goddamn, is it just not gonna be fun? And the door is right here. Door. Ignis. Fast as fuck, boy. Let me see if I have the final boss killed on this character. It's hard to not put points in the speed. This character had no points in speed until, like, two nights ago. Like, I don't have enough decks to jump as high as I want. I don't think I have the final boss code on this character. I think I leave the final boss open on this character to, like, test damage, so... That is Ignis. Again, this is just to show it's possible to actually kill the final boss with Ignis. Do I don't think I have killed on this account? Or on this save file? I do not. This guy would be... This guy is not out here if the boss is dead. Dialogue. Why do you disturb me? Must I suffer more fools? Are you guys ready? And this wouldn't take any more or less time either, because the stats would still be like on 106 int, and then I don't know if we would have to go 100 res. It doesn't even matter because we could just level with Ignis as much as we want, which is my point. So as long as we have like all these items, like everything I have on this character, and the point of this character was for tower speedruns. Uh, this was also a world record speedrun character at one point, but. Yeah, so how much damage he takes. Like, he'll just die on his own. Like, at this point. <laughs> Enough. You may pass. Beware. There you go. I I had I I don't think myself or like the ninety nine point nine percent of the player population knew there was a kill field that kill field there. Ignis might be the new no damage to phantoms. Never mind. How much damage does Ignis do to normal vampires? Ignis might be the new farming spell for Castle. If we if we do the route out this way, which you should never do. Oh no, they don't. There's still no reason to do this. Okay.
I guess now the real question is, can you complete a tower run with just Ignis, and what would the time be? The answer is it would be abysmal, but... Like, it, I don't know. I have to, I'd have to look at the base HP of the starting classes. And then in terms of, like, <clears throat> figuring out which class actually has the highest base HP, and then finding ways to... I, I think killing that Mimic over and over again, or having that Mimic, like, unalive itself is, is where the run's gonna settle. So yeah, I guess Ignis, even at you know, this stage in the game, like on a character at this stage. Not that crazy. Intelligence being 106 is a scam. I, thought I, I did that to test something. I did that because on my original, like the first character I played. Oh, do you want to see even faster movement speed? I see in the Discord commentary about how I move like I'm a NASCAR. How my movement is pog and insane. You just look crazy. This is the, I think, the maximum achievable movement speed in the game. And we're not even at 100 speed, or we are. This should be max achievable. Like I can't move my mouse for moving so fast. And this is how Win this is how Windash used to be. Windash used to be this fast. You used to have a free spell that let you move this quick. And now all you have is quick stride. I still prefer Windash, it's just like simpler. You don't have to manage HP. Like it's slow as shit, but When you stack quick strides like that, it's just, it's so much. It's like such an eyesore to just free cam at that point. Pretty much. I mean, that's how Windash used to feel. I know a lot of people came over from this game because uh, Iron Pineapple, I think his name is, made a YouTube video. And it featured the game. <clears throat> and one of his... One of his big things was like the like the movement off Windash made this game feel so unique, and it getting nerfed, Winda Windash getting nerfed, and then inspiring like an entire rework of the magic system just says a lot about how problematically unintended all that shit was. <clears throat> But yeah, it's weird that like my my farming route stayed the same. We just don't use Dark Skull anymore. Dark Skull just doesn't like it's not instant cast, and I wonder if I'm the reason Dark Skull got thrown in with that nerve. Because you could literally instant speed Dark Sp or spam Dark Skull like that, and it would just melt everything. Like 
like nothing really survived it at all. If I had to say, it was, it was probably the best spell under Ice Terror for just general gameplay. But look how easy this is. Is it annoying? Yeah. I Do I wish it was like the old way where I would just be like spamming the fuck out of the key? No, oh, obviously, no shit. Sure. But like, if it has if it has to be balanced this way, whatever. Just at least don't put maps in the game. If, ma if this game ever has like modern day video game maps, I will legitimately stop playing. I said that about the magic nerf too, though. To be fair, like when the magic nerf came out, I was very, very vocally against it. I still am. I think it just did not need to. Happen. I think magic should go back to the way it was. Like instant cast spells should be instant cast, all of them. I think nerfing, nerfing spells just feels weird, especially like really iconic ones like that. Like it's not like it was hurting anybody. A lot of players will make an argument for cheats that like the game should have cheats because it's an entirely it's like a complete it's a completely solo player experience outside of the Tower of Abyss having like a leaderboard. But like <clears throat> even with that leaderboard, nobody gets hurt if somebody's like faster. If somebody's naturally faster than another player, like by any means, like fuck that. It just just let them play. It doesn't hurt anybody. I don't know if this game will ever have cheats. I could check. I, at one point, was going to make them. Uh, I had... There is an old, old cheat engine table for this game. Um, and I wanted to update it. And I guess just quickly found out that... I don't know how intentional, but Kira made the hex editing... Or the the potential to hex edit this game nightmarishly weird. It's weird that, like, 12, 1280 by 720 is, like, the highest res for this game, I think, right? No, I'm wrong. Oh, my God. I was, like, how is, like, CS... So, I was, like, Source 2 res, like, the goaded res. the witch feet. Which, which, which feet? That's funny. The witch footsteps sound funny. What other challenge runs should we try? I'm willing to be like one, maybe one more tonight. There was another challenge around that somebody suggested we try. And obviously I'm encouraging people to come by and just suggest we try things. Ignis 
beating the uh, beating current any percent with Ignis Calor Calor Ignis Calor is a hundred percent possible. I had no doubt in my mind it was possible. What I wasn't prepared for and what didn't quite know uh, is that there's literally just a, a, a kill field in that dungeon. That dungeon will literally just kill you if you don't meet like an HP requirement. Uh, or else I guess you don't cheat. Cheating works too, chat. Oddly enough, or rather interestingly enough, we don't have every item on this character. So we might as well just go do that. But there's a ton of shit that you no, know, we don't have. I don't know if we have. This is the wrong one. I don't know if we have the. Uh... I have to look, I guess. I guess I'm worried that when the like next game or next patch comes out or full patch comes out, it's gonna want me to have every single every single spell or whatever on like a single save file. To get achievements, but I don't know. Nobody knows, to be honest. Like how that stuff's gonna work. Like once that stuff starts working, how it's going to work and continue to work is, is a mystery to, to all. I'm slowly moving down the stairs, aren't I? This is interesting. Do I even really need? What am I starting on? Might it even be worth having a... They don't take damage from their life, right? Might it even be worth having, like, a, another spell instead of a... Dash. <clears throat> what else kills these dudes? I think slime will reverse them. Oh, that hurts me, too. Oh my god, they die so fast to poison. Wait, so then Slime Orb, right? Slime Orb, which is still instant? Oh, wrong spell. Instant, okay. New meta? Not new meta, bad meta. Meta, bad, chat. That would have been interesting to see how that worked given, like, to put the potential to put two spell casts on a single uh, key, like with like custom key binds, would have been interesting. Whoa, wait, why did I have so much movement speed? Oh, never mind. I for keep forgetting we're on the character with all the movement speed. I'm trying to think if there's items here that I just haven't picked up yet, but I think there's everything. Fun fact, this rocks is saying nothing. Do not listen to people who say that it's saying, like, cut off your face. They're fucking lying. They have no idea what they're talking about. Those people are liars, and it's like weird and cringe. Sword, please. I already have it. Okay. 
What am I missing then? I feel like I'm missing stuff on this account. Maybe just spells? I'm probably missing mostly spells then. You guys want to do our, our daily Iron Patriot checkup in a second? Here, we'll just skip the rest of this dungeon. We'll save. We'll do our daily Iron Patriot checkup. If you guys are unfamiliar, we are on this channel. We are friends with the one and the only Iron Patriot from uh, Kill Tony fame. Usually once per stream, we'll go see what he's doing. I left till the 10th anniversary of Kill Tony. It was meant to be. Ah. GB on the tambourine. Ha, 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 ha. Hello, Tony. I don't know who good Bex oh, is. Turtle he's box. Funny shit. Turtle box. He's always trolling. I like, am the, right the about to go amount. off. I'm so tired. I've been six hours and 20 minutes, but God, I hate to go off when Turtle box just joined. Oh, God. This is incredible. This is the Kill Tony Countdown Marathon. This this is just like the Jerry Lewis telethon, but it's the countdown to kill Tony one telethon. Ah, oh, I just can't do it, guys. I don't want to screw my voice up. I've been talking and singing for so long. What's he talking about? Holy moly. I think I missed something like wild. Ah, oh, turtle box. What's going on in your world? Oh, the turtle box is live streaming himself right now. Wow. Oh my god, I don't want turtle boxes. Wait, is Kira playing? <laughs> Wait, Kira's playing the uh, Master Chief Collection. On yeah, Steam. things are going good. I've had a pretty good one. Should we invite turtle Kira box, to decided, uh, swat one v one? This one, I didn't smoke any marijuana. I want to. I'm, I'm decided now. I'm going to wait till after because I need it more than ever afterwards. Because I, when I've been doing these live streams, I've really crashed hard after they're done. Because I'm, and that's Wait, dude, he's gonna done, smoke. To after, he's he's gonna smoke his weed smoke after he's some, done streaming. Jeff, what the hell are you thinking? Shower and stuff later. And, <coughs> but, um, All right, we're out. Of yeah, here. Um, that's our that's our Iron Patriot check up check up for the night. We haven't played Magic since Early Access, chat. Over a week. Smells bad. Smells bad. Dude, I feel like there's a bug on me, but I can't see it. I just feel it. Maybe I should also stop smoking during streams. It's all live right now. I'm wondering if we should just raid out or.
Better get a good luck with a challenge runs. Thanks, Gummy. I don't know what challenge runs we're gonna do left tonight. I might do more like tomorrow night. I have a ton of shit to do tomorrow night. We're gonna start streaming a little later tomorrow night too. Gonna raid Griffin Rider and then get off. Alrighty, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll do like a really long stream tomorrow too.